The six to troubling questions after the home daycare shooting in Dearborn. Two children fighting for their lives after police say another toddler got a hold of a handgun. We have a live look at Children's Hospital where one of the victims is being treated. The other is at Oakwood Beaumont. Both are critical but stable right now. They are three year old boys. We're told a two year old somehow got the gun and pulled the trigger one time. The bullet went through one of the victims and then hit that second child. Samantha Eubanks lives in the home and neighbors say at times she watches 10 or more kids. Her sister says this is just devastating. She loves all these children just as well as her own. I'm very shocked because I don't know all the details yet. And, and so, you know, I'm kind of blown away right now because, you know, my kid was in that house at one point in time. Now, police have been questioning a man and a woman believed to be Samantha and her husband, Tim. Well, this tragedy unfolded at their home in the 3600 3, block of Harding in Dearborn. It is not a licensed daycare facility. Seven investigator Jim Kirchner digging into that part of the story joins us live with what he's found out about it. Jim. Stephen and Carolyn, I can tell you that this husband and wife, Timothy and Samantha Eubanks, have no criminal record. As you just said, they are not licensed daycare operators here. The state has hundreds of pages of rules and guidelines for parents. We put these on our website, WXYZ.com, and experts tell us if you consider placing your precious kids with a non-licensed provider, ask questions. Ask a lot of tough questions. A lot of people might be intimidated to have that conversation with a family friend or a neighbor about guns in their home, but that's a real issue. Michigan child care laws allow guns in homes and care centers with strict rules. The guns must be unloaded, stored in a locked location, no access by kids. Ammunition must also be locked up in a separate location, and guns cannot be traded or sold while kids are present. This home in Dearborn would likely fall under what the state defines as family care home with one to six kids care provided. The kids unrelated to the owners and the care would be for more than four weeks in a year. And they would be paid more than $600 a year. That home must meet strict requirements to be licensed. Our expert with the Oakland County Community College also says kids playing with guns should not be considered taboo but a learning experience. What do they do if they come across a gun? Fantasy versus reality. Children see guns on video games and on TV. They see gunplay and they don't realize the real repercussions. Now, of course, that's playing with toy guns. By the way, it's only a misdemeanor to run a daycare center without a license. And if you violated the gun rules in these and you are licensed, the state would move to revoke your license. Now, obviously, with this serious case, we're going to be looking at felony charges. Those will be decided rather in the days ahead by the Wayne County prosecutor. Stephen, Carolyn. Yeah, Jim, uh, families every day put kids in, in licensed and unlicensed daycare facilities. What about this family, friends and uh, that kind of thing? Should we never put our kids there? Our expert says that's not necessarily a bad idea because it, it might be someone you know in the neighborhood. It's the community people helping each other, especially if it's someone, a family member you know, knows this person. They're not a complete stranger. But by the same token, if you go that route, you don't have the stringent safety net that's provided by the state with the licensing and all the requirements that go with it. Yeah, clearly something needed to have happened here. Jim, thank you for the live report.